All right, so my demonstration for this week is dealing with tapered corners. I apologize, this demonstration was supposed to happen last week, but I had a little bit of a last minute oopsie with not being able to find my polyfill, so I have that. I've got my pillows all here for the demonstration. Let me show you my pillows first, um, explain what uh, tapered corners, what I'm talking about there, and then I'll show you how um, that you can um, alter your fabric and sew it together to have some really nice corners. So um, I've got two pillows that I stuffed here. This will work with pillows. Um, it also can potentially work with smaller projects like zippered pouches, but I feel like uh, the pillow would be the, the main focal point for the tapered corner. So I'm gonna hold up two pillows. I filled these with polyfill. They're, they're both fabric cut to the same size, but one I've done the tapered corner on and one I have not. I've just left it alone and it's just a regular um, square. So let me try to hold these up. Um, it's very subtle, but hopefully you can see the difference. So this pillow right here, um, it kind of looks more or less a nice square. And especially if you're placing this on your couch, it'll still look um, really nice and squarish. <laughs> and this pillow over here, let me try to hold it up in the same spot so we can have uh, a non-biased view. As you can see on this pillow here, the corners look a little pointy outy. Um, hopefully you can see that and that translates on camera. So this is the pillow that I made using the tapered corner template that I created. So I'm gonna step over to the side camera and show you how to do that. It's really quick and easy. Okay, so I've created a one page PDF document, which you can find this in the description and you can download it. Um, as always for any of my PDFs, I have a one inch square and a four centimeter square. So before beginning, you'll wanna take your ruler and just measure either of those squares just to make sure that they measure exact. They shouldn't be slightly smaller or slightly larger. You wanna print it actual size so um, the templates print out exact. So I've created two different templates, um, a larger one and a smaller one. So um, I don't find that you will potentially need to taper your corners on your zipper pouches, but if you're ever working on a project and you notice you're making a zipper pouch and when you turn everything right side out, you notice your corners are a little bit pokey outy like my pillow. I've created this smaller template for you. This will also be great for um, if you're making a square or rectangle pin cushion. I'm gonna focus for this demonstration on the larger template that I've created. Um, and this is perfect for pillows um, or bigger projects like bags or zipper pouches. But again, if you're working on a bag or pouch, you always wanna sort of almost make the project first and see how your corners look. For the pillows, um, generally the pillows will work better with the tapered corner template. So I went ahead and cut out my square. I also cut with my rotary cutter um, this little inside line and I left the, the paper attached on the two corners, kind of like a hinge. Okay, let me pull out my pillow fabric. So I cut two pieces of fabric, depending on how big you're making your pillow, your size dimensions of your squares or rectangles will differ. I cut both of my fabrics at 15 inches. So I'm gonna start, uh, I'll start at this corner just so you can see the, the text on here. So I'm gonna place the sides of the paper template even with the, the edges of the fabric and then I'm gonna take my friction pen or, or whatever marking tool that you like to use and I'm just gonna draw that tapered template right there. And if you prefer, you can take your ruler and just continue that line out there. And if you have a different way you prefer to use the template, if you prefer to cut this piece out and just use either the sliver or the bigger portion, you can do that as well. Okay, so you're gonna mark all four corners of your square fabric. And I'm gonna mark the other two corners as well. And you only need to mark one of the fabrics because we'll be placing them right sides together and then trimming them in just a second. Okay, so after you mark the one fabric on the, the wrong side of the fabric, you're gonna take out your second piece of fabric and place them right sides together. Okay, then you're gonna take your scissors out and trim all four corners using the lines that you made. Okay, so I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just cutting on the diagonal directly on top of the line and just discard the scraps. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposing corner And then, of course, you want to hit those last two corners as well. 
Okay, so after trimming the fabric, it's time to start sewing. So depending on what type of technique you're using for sewing the pillow, I just sewed around the entire outer edge and left an opening for turning. Um, you might be using an envelope style pillow or having a zipper in the pillow. It really doesn't matter the, the closure technique that you use. Um, you can use these tapered corners on any type of pillow. Okay, so I've got my fabric cut out. Now it's time to sew everything together. So again, you're gonna use the method for um, the closure on the pillow that you'd like, and you can also use the seam allowance that you like. So I sewed a sample before the show, and I used um, a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So I used blue thread, so hopefully you can see that, and that translates on camera. So I sew, you, sewed that quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way around, and I left an opening for turning. I turned my fabric right side out and poked out the corners, and then me being the lazy sewer that I am, I just sort of top stitch my corners closed. You'll likely want to use a slip stitch, or if you're using the envelope or the zipper method, your pillow will be finished that way. So let me show you again on the close-up camera so that you can see the difference. So here's the pillow that I made using the tapered corners. As you can see, it more or less forms a square. And here's the the pillow without the tapered corners with just the sewing just the square as it is. So as you can see, it kind of is a little bit pokey outy. So I'll show you again in the front camera so you can see the difference one more time. Uh, here's the, the tapered corner pillow and here's the one with without the tapered corners. Tapered corner without tapered corners. So hopefully you enjoyed that demonstration. Um, again, the templates the two templates, the small and large one, are linked to in the description in case you'd like to use it for your pillows going forward.